Hello, and welcome back to my Ultima 4 playthrough, Quest of the Avatar. We're right here where we left off, in the town of Moonglow, and uh, yeah, I'm an idiot. I am an idiot. And uh, I realized where we'd run into Merlin. Well, I realized it. I searched for it, uh, and I found it that way. And he is in Cove, so we need to make our way back to Lord British, and from here, that means moon glow. We can we can take the moon gate right there. Excellent. So it's the second destination. We will uh, wait here. So what I want to do today is is to hopefully find this black stone, and then maybe depending on timing, maybe do some prep work. So that I think our next thing on our checklist is we have to go down uh, into the uh, dungeons, and we need to get all the stones. That's what we need to do. That's where we is. All right, so Cove should be like over here. Some more of my ships. Some death. Some skellies that need killing along with the, the lone um, wizard who thinks he's in control. But are the undead ever really in control? <laughs> yeah, I'm getting silly. All right, let's get some people of the undead variety DED, meaning dead. Oh, boy, it's nice of them to all kind of line up there. Whoops, you can't do nothing there. Oh, yeah, you were. That was the that was the wizard. All right. Looks like a Trina get one. You got one already. Let's kind of share the wealth. Uh, I was going to kind of go up and go around these guys, but I'm guessing it's probably not going to be worth it. You know, assuming he can actually hit something. Fleeing. All right, that's interesting. Let's prevent that from happening. Interesting that the top one looks like he's fleeing now. Missed. Kind of a waste using a bow here, but somebody reminded me on on the comments that I do need to get bows for the rest of my people. I think the only person that can't have a bow is uh, Joffrey because he's a fighter, if I remember his class appropriately. Um, and so therefore he can't use a bow, I believe. So, um, yeah, I need to do that. I don't know if I'll do that on cam. There are some things I want to do uh, to prep for heading down into the dungeons and then the abyss, and that's certainly one of them. Okay, so I think if I follow the death, there we go. Board the ship, the S HMS Cove. Does that lead us anywhere? I don't think so. It's interesting you can get all up in there. but Because most of these things you can't. But at the same time, I don't know that there's anything up there that I would be interested in. Might be worth doing a view spell. Or peering at a gem. Somebody mentioned to me that peering at a gem is the equivalent of a view spell. Uh, it's basically the same thing. So... I'm not quite sure which is which is um, you know better as far as resources. Although I think View use Mandrake or something, so that might be better. But let's return to Cove. Now I, I did kind of have a, a an idea of it would be interesting to go back here and talk to these people now that I know the axiom. Mentorian, what's your job? Arts. There's truth in magic. I do not disagree. Okay, that's all he has. I really want to find somebody that knows about the axiom and, and just see what happens when I know it. I sit and watch the river. River. It flows endlessly. There you go, another infinity reference. Yes. You know, they really did try to make it. <laughs> 
I, you know, now that I know the answer, the clues are kind of obvious. So what if I say infinity? Nope, you don't know nothing about that. Okay. Uh, what's there? Someplace up here, there was somebody, wasn't there? No, I just talked to that guy. There was that child up here. Yeah. What was your purpose? He pointed me to Blissful, if I remember correctly. It hasn't... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he pointed me to Blissful. Or maybe not. Maybe he was just telling me about the... He was telling me about the wheel. That's what it was. All right, there are some people here that know all about the Axiom. Not these two, these songwriter duos. They were just like songwriters. And I think Merlin was like around behind one of these buildings. Like that's probably him right there. I am Merlin. Okay, you are Merlin. Let's actually switch to our notes. And I don't remember where we left off in our da da da. Ask Merlin and Cove. Okay. All right. Well, that isn't telling us a whole lot. Uh, let's see. What's your job? I use magic. Yes, I do. Okay. As we learned last time, putting in black stone... And this time I can't type in Blackstone. The Blackstone is caught in a moon gate. The Blackstone is caught in a moon gate. All right. Caught. Gate. Stand where the gate of both moons dark shall appear. Search when the moons go dark. All right, so that's back to <laughs> that's back to Moon Glow. So we have to stand where the skate where the gate's gonna be before before the gate opens, and then when the moons go dark, we have to search to get the black stone. That actually answers something because I've always thought it weird because when you're Moon Glow, Moon Glow is the first option, you know. So if you pop into the Moon Gate during that that portion of the of the cycle you just take him right back to moon glow which seems really strange all right i doubt because he's he's going to be all about the stone but yeah he doesn't know he doesn't know anything about the axiom he's there to give us the stone but let's i just i want to talk to somebody that knows the axiom talks about the axiom and see if I get any difference. N name, if I could spell name. Yo, oh, yes, the unfortunate name. I speak of love. Yes, I carry love. I carry all the virtues. Axiom, infinity. You know, this guy seems kind of out of place. He sounds like, feels like he ought to be at the Abbey or something. But at the same time, uh, love is considered by most to be infinite. Uh, axiom. Infinity. Hmm. I resonate with thoughts. Sure. Share your thoughts with me. What are thy thoughts? I think about infinity. Hmm. I don't remember this. Maybe I just repressed it. What else could he help me with? Yeah. You know, uh, okay. I just kind of I brought up my abyss checklist to see. Well, what don't we know about yet? Oh, I know what I should ask him too. 
and the first thing that the first thing I saw was the key to the codex, the three part key, which we you know we know we what well, basically we have to do for that, but we don't have it yet. Um, God, I don't. Know. But how you know key? Yes or no? Huh? <laughs> Let's try yes. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I'm an idiot. Yes. What are thy thoughts? Word. I'm curious if it can tell me the order of the word of passage. All right. Passage. Okay. I'll try one more thing. Uh, uh, stone. Hmm. I, I, I'm not really sure what his purpose is. He's probably supposed to give us some key bit of... Where were all these people? <laughs> That had all the, you know, there was a there was a quartet of, maybe they were down here. Let me go around across the bridge. Hello, blissful. I don't think I need to talk to you. That's a welcoming guy it's down here in the woods. These are like the yeah these are the, these dudes. All right, what's your job? I ponder the key to the axiom. Key to the axiom. <laughs> The one pure encompasses all things. Yes. Infinity. Okay, so they don't really have they're they're there to give us clues, but they don't really have anything to say, I guess. About that. Yeah, there's there's sort of point the way. Okay. We got what we wanted. Excellent. Uh, I'm going to hold up and camp here. I mean, we're not too bad health-wise, but, you know, Iolo and Julia could use some topping up. So could Katrina. So we'll just kind of hopefully get all topped off. I guess not all topped off. Iolo's still got some to go, but it's good enough. Good enough. It's enough to help us out. All right, let's go back. And what we're going to do now, now that we got that done. And actually what I should do is let's get out here in the, in the water deep so that we can, uh, let's take a peek at our checklist and remind ourselves of what we have left to do. So we know the pure axiom. And, and, you know, I know I said last time about how I thought they were stretching a little bit, but I realized what they're doing because they're doing it f from the aspect of, uh, you know, this is how you combine them by combining the runes that you get um, when you get all of these. Not necessarily, you know, like, I, I guess I got sidetracked by the fact that, you know, like love can go into honesty and compassion and and, you know other things and and then you know courage can go into valor and sacrifice and you know all those all those deals um so yeah okay i get that i get that um so what what else we need to do we we really just need to get into the oh we have the oh we have to go get the black stone i'm an idiot i got so sidetracked thinking about infinity i was like we have the black stone no we don't <laughs> No, we don't. Silly, silly person. All right, so let's go park our ship. Let's go. Oh, God. And actually. Oh, good. I mean, we could fight him, but didn't really want to. <laughs> Especially not on a ship. It's a pain. And then maybe what our next to do, yeah, okay. Maybe what our next to do list would be would be to to hop back on a ship and let's um 
let's go get some ranged weapons. Because that's pretty easy to do. And uh, so that we have everything we need. Because I, I want to get the ranged weapons before we uh, go into the dungeons. That was a mistake. All right. Attack you. Come on, guys. Let's just get these guys killed, will you? All right, fine. If everybody's going to miss, then I'm going to have to wait in. And, you know, if you want something done right, <laughs> do it yourself. There we go. We got some good hits there. He's fleeing. Uh, all right, another one down. He is fleeing. I'm hoping that troll may come up and trap him, is what I'm kind of hoping. All right. Killing me. Yeah, I mean, he can still flee off to the side, I suppose. But I'm not expecting it. I'm just kind of keeping my own character out of this because I want to kind of spread out the XP love. But at the same time, it's kind of like... You know, when you delegate a task, you're supposed to just kind of walk away for the most part unless they have, you know, questions or whatnot. I've done enough management to know that. and But at the same time, it's like, are you ever going to get it done? <laughs> are you ever going to get it done? Oh, gosh. There's my part. There's my, my, my you ship lot. Oh, uh, bother. All right. Somebody suggested I should set up a Navy. And, uh, but then I need to be able to have more than one person driving a ship. That sounds complicated, actually. I don't know that I'm, <laughs> I don't know if I have the bandwidth for that, <laughs> in all honesty. Nice shot. That was, uh, Joffrey. Yeah. Way to go, Joffrey. That's how you do that. Oh, you guys want to play with me? Get up there, Joffrey. You too. All right. I guess you can stay. You can stay. You can stay. You can do that. All right. Come on, Dupree. All right. I am helping out just to get through these guys. I mean, I'm using Mystic Sword too. I don't know that my hit chance is any real, any better than than theirs is. But come on, will you move over, sir? There we go. All right. Beautiful. Twenty nine gold. All right, let's get up and. Do some stabby stabby on their faces because I don't really want to deal with these bozos. Okay. Good job. All right, I think everybody in the second row is just, with the exception of Jana, is pretty much just out of luck. Oh, nice. One hit on the troll. Way to go, Katrina. All right. Alright. 
Come on, guys. You know, the women are showing you up. Uh, uh, there you go. I'm just saying. You know, in this battle, the women have been getting it done. And that's all I have to say about that. There we go. All right, 28 gold. We got to come over here. All right, I do want to see. I don't know that we're going to go all the way up, but let's take a look. I want to see if anybody is ready to level up at all. So I'm, I'm maxed out. So I know. In fact, I wonder, I bet that whenever I reach... 9,999, I'll stop recording, I'll stop recording uh, X, XP at that point, uh, because it's only four digits long, and that's kind of what they do with other things, so I'm expecting that I will top out at 9,999 um, when it is my time. Okay, so to get to level six, Joffrey needs 1,600, so he's not far off, but he's not there yet. Same thing with Dupree. Katrina's a little further away. Iolo, to get to level seven, he's 3,200. He's ready to go. All right, we'll definitely go up and see uh, Lord British then. Uh, let's see. So Julia is also looking for 3,200. She's got a ways to go. Shamino is looking for 3,200. He's got a bit to go. Jana is looking to get to level four, which is 400. So she doesn't have a too far to go but she's got a little bit to go all right so let us uh, at least get uh iolo leveled up i think we'll probably have him go ahead and top off our health it's free why not so we will climb here i think i already asked him about infinity so i'm not going to bother doing that again there goes Iolo, level seven. Heal. Nope, we're not. Well, some of us aren't. All right, that is it. That is it. All right, so let's... Um, actually, before we get out of here, let's go back and look at our map. If I can remember where I stored it. So we are here at Lord British... And we want to get to Buccaneer's Den so that we can get uh, a bunch of magic bows. So, and actually, let's take a quick peek and companions. Yeah, Joffrey is a fighter. Okay, here's my note. Can't use a magic weapon besides mystics. But he could use a normal bow, looks like. It looks like at one point he had a normal bow. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. It might be good to have somebody that's going to be purely melee. Um, we'll, when we get our next mystic bow, I will try to equip, have him equip that, and we'll see what happens there. Um, and Katrina cannot use bows because shepherds can't use bows. All right, so we'll have to see. So, but we could at least get, well, John has already got a magic bow. So we could get one for Dupree and Shamino and Julia and Iolo and presumably myself. And then we'll we'll go from there, I think. I think. Okay. Good news. Good news. I'm glad I, I took a quick peek at that. All right. So I think we want to at least make it down the Buccaneers. We still haven't gotten the darn black stone. I am so distracted today. Oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> We have to accomplish something today, just so it's not not me wandering around in a daze thinking I've already done stuff that I've not done. Oh my God! All right, come on. So we got to get to Moon Glow. So that is going to be, and oh, we can't get there directly from here. We can go. This is the Trinsic route. We got to go to Trinsic. And if intrinsic, we can go to Moonglow. So that is what we shall do. Okay, so here we are. We're waiting for the 
moons to go full dark, which will be just here in a little bit. We hit it at a pretty advantageous point in the cycle. And uh, then uh, we will do a quick search and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully get the black stone. We found the black stone. Ugh. All right. <laughs> and here we are right back at Lord British. Excellent. So we found the black stone. Uh, that's cool. That's really cool. I'm going to mark that off on our little checklist there. And we're going to go down to Buccaneers Den. But let's take a quick look at the map again. I know I started going down that path and then realized I was an idiot. So we are here. We are roughly at G and F. And we need to get down to J. J and J ish so and actually i probably have the exact coordinates buccaneers den j and i to be to be more exact so j and i so let's go back to the game and get on board our ship and let's at least see if we can get there so what the what oh i guess i was I think this is like the, f oh, Nixies. Come on, Nixies, flake off, will ya? Well, at least there's only two of them. You know, that's, that's nice. <laughs> you know, it's like saying, well, we have mice. Well, at least there's only two, you know. You get up there. All right, you're just annoying me now, Nixie. All right. Iolo. I need to get a vision plan for this company because I think Iolo needs glasses. Come on, Iolo. He's right in front of you. Some days I feel like we've been cast with a jinx spell because we just can't hit much of anything. All right, where the heck am I? I am at h and g and i need to get to j and i all right j and i so it should be this way and of course progress is slow because life j and i okay so th the exact thing was jp and ij so it might be right here, actually. Right there. Oh, I have another ship. Exit. All right, so let's... Let's buy one of these. And just... Uh, let's see, so... Um, hmm, okay, so I'm going to ready... Ready a weapon for me, and right now... I don't have a mystic sword. Oh, no. Hands. Right. So now if I do my stats. Yeah, we have a mystic sword there. Okay, so let's find the weapons, dude. Are they down here? Captain Black Tavern. Here we go. Armor, arms. Talk to this guy. Let's see, so I want to make sure that I can get what I think I can get. Magic bows, magic wands. I once again am tam tempted by a magic wand, but for now, uh, I don't think we have enough. Yeah, I didn't think so. Uh, n neither. Okay, so I need to sell. Which would I sell? P. 3,500, sure. All right, so I can't sell my hands. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now if I buy a magic bow, a must for 2,000 gold pieces. Okay, I can buy two. So let's buy two. No. 
Okay, so first of all, I want to see if I can, as a mage, if I can use a magic sword. So I'm going to say ready, and I'm going to say... Okay, I may not use a magic bow. So I might get that magic wand and see what that gives me, because I think that's like infinite fireballs or something. Because I bet I can use that, and as a mage, that would make a ton of sense. Okay, so let's see if Joffrey... I think it was Joffrey, wasn't it? Yeah, Joffrey was the one I had questions about. So I had that note. Can't use magic weapon besides mystics. So let's let's see if I ready a weapon for Joffrey. He's number two. And I say I want him to use that. A fighter may not use a magic bow. So he can't use a magic bow. Okay. So that explains a lot. That explains a lot. Okay. So, but Julia should be able to use a magic bow. So let's ready a weapon for Julia. And we're going to give her yes. So now then, let's ready a weapon. For Dupree, I guess I'll, 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 well, I kind of, okay, for Dupree, let's say, and I'll give him a magic bow. All right, so that's good. So now if I look at all my people so far, I didn't really do this in a very, I was looking at my list of companions on my notes, and they're in a different order <laughs> than I have them here because I've re redone them. Okay, so... Um, I'm using my hands right now, but that's because I got rid of my sword. So Joffrey is still a mystic sword, and he's going to stay a mystic sword. Dupree's got a bow. Katrina still has a sword. Iolo still has a sword. Julia's got a bow. Shamino has a sword. Janet's got a bow. All right, so that's one, two, three. And then I want to get that magic wand for me. So three bows, one magic wand. Okay. All right. And now we should have, what do we have to sell? We have two of the swords that are ready to sell. Okay. And that's probably good enough because I don't want to try to do something where I'm going to max out my four digit gold there. So two at a time is probably safe. All right, I want to sell. I'm going to sell. I'll sell them both. I'll give you 7000 for them. Yeah, okay, same price. All right, so now we got a ton of gold. Uh, no, nothing. Okay, so now we need to buy. <sighs> All right, magic boats. I said I need to buy three, right? 2000 that would be 6000 gold pieces. So I will buy three. No. Okay. So, um, ready for Katrina, a magic bow. Oh, that's right. Katrina can't use a magic bow. Can't use a bow period. So she'll stick with the sword. Okay. Did I buy too many? <laughs> That's what I'm sitting here thinking about. Stuff. Did I buy too many? I think I bought too many. All right. So who needs one still? All right. I got to go back through. Nope, nope, nope. I got to go back through the list. All right. So. Iolo. Shamino. And I, and I have one extra. Okay. So I guess I can sell it back. Okay. So I need to ready for Iolo. I'm going to give you a magic bow. Ready weapon for Shamino. Give you a magic bow. Boom. Cut a boom. We got a boom. Okay. So that leaves me with at least another couple of 
magic swords to sell. But I need to get that magic... Um, yeah. Alright, uh, first let's sell. Which which you sell? If I sell the N... Ooh! Wow, that hurts. No. I wonder if I can sell that someplace else and get more money for it. All right, so I will sell the P, the, the magic sword, the mystic swords. Let's sell two of them. Yes, yes. And that's going to be it. All right, let's see how much this darn magic bow is going to run me. Uh Oh, I did sell again, darn it. I want to buy magic wand. Cast mighty blue bolts to strike down thy foes. 5,000 gold pieces. How many would you like? Just one, thank you very much. Uh, no. I'm good. All right, ready a weapon for me. Oh. All right. It's a little disappointing having an extra one, but we came out of it with 4,400 gold, which is more than we had going in. So I've got the magic wand and a mystic robe. And then we've got Joffrey with the mystic sword. Um, we've got Dupree with a magic bow, Katrina with a mystic sword. Iolo with a magic bow, Julia with a magic bow, Shamino with a magic bow, Jana with a magic bow. All right. I think I'm happy with that. The one thing I'm going to do is um, I need to bring, I need to bring uh, Katrina up. So I'm going to exchange four and three. So now it's me, Joffrey, Katrina. And so that should be, yeah, I got my two sword people up, up at the front with me. And then everybody else is behind with their magic bows. Okay. Looking good. Looking good. All right. So we have got that done. We've got a lot of, a lot of prep work done. I think, uh, I do need to go get some food, especially now that we've got all this gold, that's gold. That's probably like the last thing I want to do. Um, so I might even do that off off cam, go get some food someplace and um, stock up by by a crazy amount. Actually, and let's look at one other thing. I may have to make a another run. How many uh, stones do I have? Gems, twenty, and keys nine. I think I might stock those two things up as well, um, and then I might just double check. Yeah, I need to get more Mandrake. So, yeah, I got some things to do. Uh, we'll see if I get them done off cam. If I don't, then maybe we'll do a grindy episode. And one thing I was thinking about was doing a, a grindy episode and while I'm grinding, going through some of the, the comments that I've been getting and talking through those while I'm doing the combat. I might do that next time just, just to see how it goes, see what you think. So if you have any, any thoughts on that, leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. But that's kind of uh, an idea I've had kicking around in my head. And then so if we do the grind, if we did the grinding episode next time, then the time after that, we'd be going into the dungeons and speed lunking for stones. But that's all I'm going to do with this for today. I do hope you enjoyed it and that you come back for the next one. And until then, be seeing you.